All right, y'all, it's good, man. So check this out. Let me set y'all up right here real quick. I got a story time for y'all, all right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me try to get y'all set up right here real quick. And I got y'all. All right. So check this out. I don't even know if it's straight, bro. Like, I don't even know. Hold up. Let me see. Let me see, bro. All right. I got story time for y'all, man. All right, so look. It's in the morning, all right? I just woke up. You can tell in my voice. You feel me? You know when you wake up, you got that deep, crazy voice? I hate that. But look, this story time is about my barber, okay? We got into it, all right? Now, check this out. This video, I don't know if I'm going to talk about it, but I do because I know it's a lot of young people on here, and I want to put y'all on, you know what I'm saying, on how to go about situations, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. this is how it went down, mm -hmm. y'all. So, I got a cut, right? This is from my, my, I know three barbers, all right? I know three barbers. This cut is from one of my old barbers, which is, bro, dope. Don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? The barber I've been going to for so long, Cuts are clean, you know what I'm saying? Clean as hell. But this cut is from one of my old barbers. But check this out. This is how it went, y'all. So, the barber I've been going to for so long, y'all, like, he decided to make, you know what I'm saying, his own custom shirts. You feel me? Now, me, when it comes to me as a, as, as a, you know, someone that's cool with you, you know what I'm saying? I'm that cool person, you know what I'm saying? So if I make something, I'm gonna give it to you for free. You feel me? Here you go, dog. you feel me? We boys, we've been hanging out for so long. Well, not hanging out, but we've been knowing each other for so long, you feel me? We, I mean, you've been cutting my hair for so long, so we boys, here you go. So, um, he wanted do-rags, and I got do-rags, so I gave him do-rags for free. Like, I'm not gonna charge you, like, you my boy, why would I charge you? You know what I'm saying? You my boy, you feel me? So boom, and then he asked me if I want a t-shirt because he makes, you know, he had, he came out with his own shirt. Now in my head, I'm thinking, well, since you asking if I want something, since you, you know what I'm saying? I didn't ask you. I'm thinking you go give it to me for free. You feel me? That's just how I go about things. Like if you make something and you tell me, oh, you want a shirt, I'm going to assume that you go make me a shirt for free because I didn't say, oh, make me a shirt. Oh, I want a shirt. You know what I'm saying? It's a different story. So I was like, yeah, cool, make the shirt. Okay, cool. You know, weeks go by, you know what I'm saying? I'm still getting I'm still getting cut by him. This is a different cut. This is from a this is from an old barber that I knew. You feel me? So, bro, my cut's gonna forever be clean. You know what I'm saying? Forever. So I'm still getting cuts. You feel me? I'm waiting for the shirt to get made. You know what I'm saying? So I go into the barber shop, he make the shirt, he give it to me. Okay, cool. I'm thinking, you know, he gave it to me for free. He hooked me it up. You know what I'm saying? Now, keep in mind, I'm a genuine dude. If if I mess with you, if we cool, and you you want some, I'm, I'm going to do it for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give it to you. I'm not going to charge you. I'm not going to throw none of that in your face. You my boy. You know what I'm saying? So, I gave him the do-rags. You know, here, here you go. They, they, they yours. You know? No charge. Here you go. You my boy. You feel me? Now, when I got to the barbershop, he gave me the shirt. <clears throat> I got the cut. Once I got the cut, I paid. Then he gonna tell me the shirt was $45, right? He told me the cut was $45. And I'm like, oh, I thought you gave it to me for free. You know, I didn't ask for this. You you asked me if I wanted a shirt. Why? If I wanted a shirt, I would have told you, hey, let me get a shirt, right? You asked me if I wanted a shirt, so I'm thinking you gonna make me a shirt for free. You know what I'm saying? For being cool with each other. A lot of people don't a lot of people don't think like that. A lot of people don't think before they say something. You know what I'm saying? Or a lot of people don't don't clarify something before they do it. You feel me? So he was like, nah, like 25 for the shirt. And I was like, okay, well since you charging me, you feel me? What about the do-rags? You know what I'm saying? I can eat those do-rags for free because we boys. And he was like, nah, bro, like, nah, bro. I gotta make some money off these. Okay, cool. I told him I'll pay for it. I, I took the shirt, and I was supposed to send him the money through Cash App or whatever, you feel me? So later on that day, um, he didn't say nothing at all. 
The next day comes. So it's been a whole day, bro. It's been a whole day. You feel me? A whole day. I'm a, I was, I was going to send him that 45, right? It's been a whole day. And then and then I got a message saying, you know what? Since you gave me the do-rags, I'm going to knock some money off. Just just give me 20 for the shirt. I said, okay, cool. I, I'll give you 20. So then a whole nother day went by. And then he messaged me and said, never mind. Give me 30. My nigga, you let a whole day go by just for you to say give you $30? You let a whole day go by just to say, oh, I made a mistake. It should have been $30. Can you give me 30? Bro, that's your fault. You feel me? That's like me selling you some uh, shoes for $160, right? And a whole day go by and I hit you up and say, hey, can you give me $180? Can you throw me an extra 20? Bro, no, the deal's already been done. You feel me? That's your mistake. It's not mine. It's your mistake. You feel me? So me, whenever stuff gets, you know, whenever things go wrong, I back all the way out of it. You know, I go all the way from the from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to do the deal no more. You dig? So I told him, I was like, you, you know what? You, you changed the price on me. You feel me? And it's been a whole day. It took you a whole day to realize you made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know, I don't even want the shirt. You can have the shirt here. Boom. You can have it back. And then he started getting all crazy, you know? And, bro, I'm, I'm a chill person, you know? It, I'm a chill person. I don't like to get crazy. I don't like drama. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm in too good of a position to be starting drama, to be going back and forth with somebody. You feel me? And, <clears throat> and I, took, I took his shirt to the shop. I told him I want the shirt no more. You can have it. You feel me? You, you wanted me to pay 45, then you wanted me to pay 20, and then you want me to pay 30 because you made a mistake. So he tried to get crazy. I said, bro, don't get crazy with me. You know what I'm saying? Don't get don't don't talk crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a grown man. You feel me? If you're gonna talk crazy, don't talk crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just we, we can fight it out. You feel me? What's the point on talking crazy when you could just fight it out? You know what I'm saying? So all that got squashed, you know what I'm saying? Now, keep in mind, y'all, this is not my fault. You feel me? I agreed on the prices that he threw at me. You know what I'm saying? Now, I gave him the shirt back. I showed up to the barber shop. The dude's like, I'm waiting. I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? We had a conversation on like, you know, we good. You know, everything's still good at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It was just, it was a mistake on your end. You know, he accepted the fact that he made a mistake and I gave him his shirt back and he kept the do-rags. You know, I, was, I, I don't care, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I went to the barber shop, right, to get a cut by him. He's like, yo, who you waiting for? I'm not waiting for you. He's like, no, nah, you're not, bro. I'm not cutting your hair no more. I'm not cutting your hair no more. If 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 you don't want to mess with me, I'm not going to mess with you. I never told him I didn't want to mess with him. I told him I'm not buying your shirt because you changed the price up for me. It took you 24 hours to realize that. And you knew what your you knew what mistake you made. You know what I'm saying? So now you don't want to cut my hair because of the mistake you made. Now you try to now you try to throw it on me like it's my fault on why you don't want to mess with me. Nah, nigga, it's your fault. You feel me? So we in the barbershop, we going back and forth. I'm telling you like, like nigga, it's it's your fault. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to cut my hair. Okay, cool. You ain't gotta cut my hair. The nigga kept talking his mouth. I said, bro, why are you talking to me? You know, what I'm saying? just running the mouth. You feel me? That's the thing I don't do, bro. I don't like to just sit there and run my mouth and nothing happens. My nigga, don't run your mouth and nothing gonna happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, the nigga never wanted to cut my hair no more. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how somebody can make a mistake and they'll put it on you to the point to where it, ma it makes them make a decision on not to mess with you. So, you made a mistake on the prices. Now that I didn't want to buy the shirt, I gave it back. You want to flip it on me to make it seem like it's my fault on why you don't want to cut my hair. It's crazy, right? Like, nigga, what you wanted me to do to beg for you? What you wanted me to do? Oh, no, I cut my hair, bro. I'm sorry. Nigga, no. Nigga, you ain't the only barber. No, my nigga, look at my hair, bro. You ain't the only barber. You got to let the, you gotta let people know. It don't matter if it's a barber. It don't matter if it's a, somebody don't want to be your friend. It don't matter if, you know what I'm saying, somebody talking stuff. I think you let them know then you ain't the one. You let them know that you ain't the only one. You're not the only barber. You, you know what I'm saying? You're not the only person in this world that I could be friends with. 
you ain't the only girl I could be with. Bro, you got to let people know, like, nigga, you're not the only one. You feel me? Like, you because you don't want to cut my hair no more? So what? Nigga, so what? You're not the only barber I know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll take my money and go somewhere else. So at the end of the day, don't let nobody think you need them. A girl, friend, barber, who, whoever. The dude who work on your car, whoever. The dude you buy shoes from, it don't matter. Don't let nobody think you need them, because you don't. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy how people can make a mistake and put it on you to why they don't want to deal with you no more. It's crazy, right? It's real crazy. So I just thought I'd make that a story time, y'all. You know what I'm saying? My cut's still clean, lineup's still clean, wave's still clean, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my barber, you feel me? This stuff don't stop, y'all know this, my nigga. Like I said, I'm a genuine person. I don't sit there and run my mouth, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just gonna chill, you know what I'm saying? So, they got so much for watching, man. One important thing that I want y'all to know is that when you get cut by a barber, make sure y'all let him know what kind of haircut you want. You know what I'm saying? Always point out the details on what you want. You feel me? If you don't want your lineup being pushed back, tell them don't push my lineup back. You feel me? Like you gotta let them know. Cause a lot of y'all send me photos and y'all haircuts be jacked up. Your lineups be jacked up. Y'all gotta let them know because at the end of the day, you give them your money. You feel me? But no, I thought this is just a story time. I ain't got no problems, you know what I'm saying, with 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 the barber. You know, I ain't got no problems with him, you feel me? It's all good on my end. I ain't never tripping over no money. Money good over here, you dig? I ain't got no problem with him. If homeboy wanted to cut my hair to this day, I'll let him cut my hair. You feel me? I ain't never got no problem. But when it comes down to running your mouth, I don't do that, man. You feel me? When it comes down to thinking I need you, I don't, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody ever think that. They got some for watching. I guess this is just a little cool little story time on what happened. It, it, it just crazy to me how, you know what I'm saying, somebody can make a mistake and then blame you. You feel me? So, this is story time, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm out, man.